Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. This is going to be a quick double upload. I hope you are having a great Thursday. Um, so 5PD was updated yesterday and this morning by the time I'm recording this video just to go ahead and fix some stuff that 5M changed in the last few weeks. There's a lot of story behind that but I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to show you how to update and what files you actually have to update because a lot of people have been asking me even though there's change logs to tell you exactly what to do. A lot of people have been asking me how in the world do I update 5PD. So I want to show you exactly where you can go to get this info and what you actually should do to get the info on how to update and I'm going to show you how to update from um, the latest version to the hot fix that came out this morning. Anyway, just go back to your 5PD page and this is the download page like normal. You can find this down linked in the description as well. And then in every single one of the 5PD updates, you'll see what's new in version and it will say the version number. What you want to do is you want to click right here. You're going to want to click on this and it will go ahead and open a change log uh, thread. This change log thread will tell you exactly what to uh, change and redo. In this case, it says at the top, if you already had 5pd 1.1.4 working before you only need to replace the following files 5pd client callout manager callout manager server and traffic stop server.net.dll these are the files in the 5pd download we're going to go ahead and replace when we update uh, 5pd so let's go ahead and do this so we're just going to go back to the official download page press to download this file agree to all of the terms and conditions and you can see it's going to go ahead and download then once it downloads you're just going to go ahead and open it up with winrar winzip or whatever you use go into your 5pd folder and in here we're going to take those four files so if we remember what they're called they're called the 5pd client.nut.dll callout manager callout manager server and traffic stop server so we're going to go ahead and get these but first we're going to go into our server dash data folder go to resources and go down to 5pd inside of here we're going to drag those four files over so find 5pd client you can see here we got uh, 5pd client underscore client.net.dll drag that into the and replace it in our current install the second one's callout manager so we'll go ahead and drag in callout manager.net.dll the third one's callout manager server which is the second file we have here we'll go ahead and drag it in replace it and traffic stop server dot y, uh, dot, uh, dll and you can drag that in and replace it there you go that's all you have to do you have successfully updated 5pd that you can then start your resource and it should load up fine and have all of the changes for the hotfix now this is not how you do it for every time this is for this release specifically you can check the change log on the news and announcement page and it will tell you what to do every single time you update and you can find that just at the bottom of this page here it'll tell you exactly what to do to update you'll just click here and it will tell you all of the things you need to change some updates require more to change some updates are less to change so hopefully this did help you out um thank you to everybody who's been giving us support we're 400 subs away from 3,000, which is absolutely insane let's try to hit it by the end of the year is our goal so anyway thank you so much for watching feel free to go ahead and update 5pd enjoy it and um yeah i'll see you tomorrow